my pranams to you. Many people used to say idolatry or idol worship is wrong. Hindus used to do idol worship from time immemorial. There are two ways of worship in Hindu Dharma. First is known as Vedic ritual through offering materials and prayer to the fire. Fire is the representative of the cosmic energy as it contains light and heat energy. Worship through the fire is known as Vedic ritual. Worship through the idols are known as Puranic ritual. Idol worship is needed because for imagining the divine power an ordinary man needs an image. Without an image, imagination for common people will become very difficult. Even when we teach the solar system to the children, students, we used to draw the picture of solar system because it is difficult to imagine without the image of the solar system. For teaching the structure of an atom, we used to draw the picture or make some symbolic figures in an atom, in a board so that electrons, protons, neutrons, etc. can be seen with the naked eyes as small spherical shaped globules. So these two, the solar system and the atomic structure, Anoradiyan Mahato Mahiyan, smaller than the smallest is an atom, bigger than the biggest is the cosmic system or universe. Imagining these two become difficult for which an image is needed. Only through the image imagination is possible. That is why Hindus used to worship the idols made of granite, made of clay, made of wood, made of quartz, made of metal or a lamb or a picture photograph or even an imaginary figure that is needed because for common man these are the pictures which creates an image in the mind. <coughs> While standing in front of an idol in a temple we used to keep our eyes open for about 5 seconds then we close the eyes for about 15 seconds. Using the external eye, we take the image inside and using the internal eye, we imagine from inside. We do meditation from inside. This is the theory of idol worship. Many Christians and Muslims used to say that Hindus are idol worshippers. Killing idol worshippers will take you directly to heaven. This is what Jehovah and so-called religious literature explain. But remember that Christians worship idols. Every church has got a cross. A cross is an idol. Jesus Christ hanging in the cross is also idol worship. In the altar of every church, the picture idol of Jesus Christ you can see hanging in the cross and the idols of Saint George, Saint Joseph, Infant Jesus, Saint Mary, Saint Martin and so on are displayed in front of the church with the plastic flowers in that. So is it not an idol? You pull Belonging to Christian faith, he used to take the cross and conduct a procession 
take the picture of many of the so called saints on the vehicle and they conduct the procession now even in kerala they started doing the procession on elephant are these not idols so remember that christians do idol worship without any fail every church including pentecost christian christians do the idol worship same is applicable for islam also you know kaaba has got a 32 cm diameter shivalinga covered with the silver worshiped by prophet muhammad again re worshiped by khalifa it is said that khalifa used to say i worship you only because my boss my guide used to worship you so i am worshiping you even though you are a stone these are the words of khalifa so out of 360 shivalingas or idols present inside kaaba 359 were broken by prophet it is said like that and prophet said only one is enough because god is only one hindus also say god is one ekam sad vipraha bahuda vadanti sat truth is only one different people give different figures pictures and different colors different size and shape so prophet said only one idol is enough so again muslims do worship idol kaaba is an idol the crescent of the moon and the star is an idol muslims throwing the stones during hajj is an idol worship and muslims from anywhere in the world used to face towards kaaba during their five times namaz in their own country so remember facing to a an item is again an idol and some of the muslims used to worship the quranic book which is an quran which is an idol sometimes the pages of quran messages of quran and they used to frame it and keep in their home that is an idol some in some of the mosques and churches lamp is littered that is an idol the picture of kaaba is framed and kept in the home which again is an idol so remember that idol worship is there everywhere hindus also do idol worship as long as you are an ordinary man when you reach when the hindus reach the level of ramana maharshi or ramakrishna paramahamsa or shankaracharya then you need not have to have the idol for worshiping because you have crossed the limit you have crossed the level without an image you can imagine the moment you reach the level of imagination by yourself then idol is not needed at all it is just like that <clears throat> when we were in the lower primary school a globe is kept on the table for teaching about the earth when you reach the upper primary level partly idols are used partly the map is used when you reach the college level only map is enough again if you are going higher level globe is not needed map is not needed you need only the latitude and the longitude number you can immediately recollect the location but unless you reach the level of recollecting the location using latitude and longitude if that number is given 17.5 e and 28 w what does it mean for a 
lower primary student. So when you reach higher level, you can see 17.5 degree east or 25 degree west from an already marked location of Greenwich line or something like that. Unless you reach that level, using that number does not mean anything. So, we Hindus can be proud in saying that we are idol worshippers. Like scientists do the image building of small molecules and astronomers do the image building of the cosmic system either in computer modeling or using for small spherical shaped plugs for one which you cannot see the open eyes you need an, an image building as a doctorate holder in chemistry we used to make the structure of organic molecules using black, white, red, green and blue colored atoms. In the place of atom we put nearly 2 cm diameter containing globes fixing through the iron nails or nails, plastic connections to know how the big molecule structure will be. But remember that <clears throat> all these molecular structure will be using plastic spherical shaped material that also contains the atoms and the molecules. So here you can see you need as a chemist or a scientist whether working in the physics field, biochemistry field or chemistry field or astronomy field, you need an image building for understanding the scientific aspect of that. So idol worship is 100% scientific because scientists need an image. Until you reach a level when you can imagine without an image. So be proud of a Hindu. Be proud to say that I am an idol worshipper. Others do idol worship, but they hide it. And it is that is hypocrisy. Ours is really great. But when you cross the level of idol worship, then na mandram, na tandram, na dhyanam, na shayanam, na yajnobavidam, na dandam, na shika. Then idol is not required, lab is not required. Your Yajnobhavida sacred thread is not required. Your Kamandalu is not required. But until you reach that level, these are all needed. Or till you reach that level, these are all needed. Without reaching that level, if you are removing these, then it is wrong. So idol worship is scientific, logical and rational for a common man, for fast meditation, quick realization and easy way of imagination. My pronouncement.